So you said yes when you really wanted to say no, and now you're committed to doing something that you don't want to do, or worse, physically unable to do. And now you're stuck, overcommitted to too many things, filled with dread on how to get out of one of them, and you fear the confrontation, so you put it off and then just plan to last minute cancel on one of the commitments because the longer you wait to cancel, the less time you'll feel guilty, right? Whew, how did we get here? If you are someone who struggles with saying no or feels guilty every time you say no, listen up. Welcome to Create Your Fate, where we retrain old self-limiting beliefs into a positive mindset. If you don't know me, I'm Life Coach Meg Ellis, here to guide you to stop thinking about what you don't want and instead focus on what you do want so you can actually create the life that you want. So today, we are going to retrain your mind from wanting to people please and saying yes automatically. You'll learn why it's hard to say no and we're gonna get to the root and then learn how to stop automatically saying yes. So you can say yes when you wanna say yes and no when you wanna say no. So hopping right in, the four fallacies of saying no. I want you to ask yourself, do you say yes more than you say no? Do you say yes when you really want to say no? Do you say yes before you even know what you are agreeing to? Do you say yes based off of what you want to be able to do and not what you actually can do? None of these are going to lead you to a happy life. Why? Because these things lead to a life of people pleasing where your focus is on what other people want and not what you want. So here's what you're going to do. We're gonna start being conscious of how many times you say yes in a day and how many times you automatically say yes even before you even know what you're agreeing to. So I have a challenge for you. So if you're ready, here's the challenge. You are not going to say yes to anything for one week. One week. So meaning you're not going to respond with yes automatically to anything, even if it's something that you really want to do. You're going to practice not automatically saying yes. So when somebody asks you something, even if it's something that you really want to do and you can do it and you know you'll even eventually say yes, you're going to say something like this instead. Can I think about it and get back to you? Can you tell me more about it? When do you have to know by? If you had to pick one thing for me to do, which task would be the most important? So this is going to work on untraining your brain from automatically saying yes. It will allow that people pleasing part to take a little break in your brain and then that rush of people pleasing will go away so you can think logically and then not overcommit by you know giving them an answer that you don't want. So practice this on things that you would even say yes to and this will help break the habit for when you really want to say no. Start here and you can even begin a small journal practice uh, noting the patterns, right? Note when do you, when do these things pop up, right? Is there a per- particular person or a situation where you typically struggle saying no? What are the patterns analyzing? Because you have to bring them into consciousness, which is basically (laughs) you have to bring them into awareness because you can't fix anything that you don't know is broken. Until the unconscious becomes conscious, it will rule your life and you will call it fate. You do not have to be someone who says yes. You don't have to be someone who overcommits and feels the pressure to do it all. You don't have to feel responsible for other people's emotions. Who you were is not who you are. And identify as who you want to be. And taking these small steps helps. These small, tiny steps, they are little but so impactful, I promise. If you work on saying no and struggle with feeling guilty about it, tune in to part two next week where we go over how to say no and actually not feel guilty about it. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. Tell me what your biggest takeaway is in the comments. And if you want more on learning how to say no, just continue to check out the series that's going to be coming out on boundaries, being happy, saying no, and actually the full audio is streamed on all platforms. So check that out in the bio. And of course, if I could leave you with just one final thing, it would be this. Expect good things always and they will happen.